Afrobeats, R&B, hip hop, and gospel are some of the music genres that will be featured at the 17th annual Jazz in the Gardens Music Festival at the iconic Hard Rock Stadium in the city of Miami Gardens. This is a two-day festival that celebrates diversity, unity, and black culture. Joining us here today is Troy Brown, the Chief Marketing Officer of the Black Promoters Collective. Thank you for joining us here today. Thank you so much for having me. With artists like gospel singer Kirk Franklin and R&B singer Fantasia, tell me who else is in the lineup? The 17th annual lineup for Jazz in the Gardens is explosive, if I could use one word. Um, we've got Grammy Award winning Maxwell. We've got uh, Grammy Award winning Jasmine Sullivan. We've got one of the three kings, the global three kings of uh, Afrobeats genre, uh, um, Davido. Uh, we've got hip hop icons, local icons like Rick Ross. We've got Uncle Luke. Uh, we've got Scarface. Uh, we've got uh, DJ Cassidy's Pass the Mic Live, if everybody remembers that explosion that he had during the pandemic. It is very diverse uh, across the entire um, uh, urban diaspora of music. So it's not particularly jazz in the gardens anymore, right? You have Afrobeats, as I mentioned earlier. You have r right. So tell me, why that evolution? I think it only makes sense for us, right? And actually, if a lot of people notice, even the branding and the moniker this year says JITG Music Fest for that specific reason, right? We wanted to extend across the entire diaspora of um, the culture, right? So thus, gospel, yes, but Afrobeats. This is the first time they've had Af Afrobeats. Not only with Davido, but the, another hot up and coming artist, global artist called Fields. Uh, and Fields is featured on Usher's new single. Um, so again, um, spreading, you know, spreading across the diaspora to really give people uh, uh, a, a view into all the different types of music across the culture. So yes, it's hip hop. Yes, it's R&B, but now it's Afrobeats. You know, there's a little bit of pop in there as well. It's a, a huge opportunity for the festival to grow and reach down a little bit, right? Not get too young, but to have a, some of those younger folks also attend the festival. How does this reflect with the city of Miami Gardens and attendees from all around the world? It's actually amazing and it's a seminal moment uh, and a seminal event uh, and, and, and production for the city of Miami Gardens. Right, uh, the fact that you know when you look at the attendance, at, even at, in our first meetings with the city, uh, it's a destination event. For so long, people thought of it as just a local event, but now we're we're programming event for people traveling in from all over the country. That's why we wanted to offer all these other artists and genres to make people want to come to this desti incredible destination that is South Florida, right? Where can people get information and buy tickets to attend this amazing festival? The hub for all things Jazz in the Gardens and JITG Music Fest is jazzinthegardens.com. Thank you so much, Troy, for joining us here today. And let's get ready to enjoy soulful music at Jazz in the Gardens Music Festival this weekend.